We've been plugging along here with the, with the uh, planer and as you can tell there's a lot of sawdust. We've been trying to think of, of I've been trying to think of, of ways in which I can talk about sawdust. And uh, you can tell that this vlog, these vlogs, in particular this vlog, is we're using the metaphor of woodworking to explain the concepts of God, uh, what God is like, uh, how God interacts with us, and how God interacts with the world. And a lot of times we're very comfortable with using, using metaphors. And so I really wanted to try to say God is like the sawdust and this and that. And what I've been just, I've realized that I can't use sawdust, that the metaphor breaks down. And I'm really glad that the metaphor breaks down because then it allows us to talk about the mystery of God. Our metaphors of God have to break down somewhere. Think about it. If we spent all of our life, if we could explain God with all the is's, with all the metaphors, if we had all the answers about how God interacts with our lives and in the world and knew everything about God, well, that God, the God of the is, is a very, very small God. It's a God of our construct of our mind, a God that we're comfortable with, a God that we can put into the box. Now this is the, the God is and the, the metaphors of God. This is what we call cataphatic language, the, the language we use to talk of, to describe God. This is what the Western church really loves. God is love, God is light, God is truth, God is just, and God is compassion. And God's all these things, but we need to take a, a lesson from the Orthodox view, the orthodox theology, the orthodox apophatic language. And, and basically what they do is they say they embrace the mystery of God. God is love, but a love that's beyond our understanding. God is light, but a light that is beyond our understanding. I want to serve a big, audacious God, a God that I know who loves me, but yet I cannot fathom the deepness or the broadness of God's love. I know that God is just, but I don't understand the broadness and the bigness of the justice of God. So I hope that today, when we can't find anything to describe about God with sawdust, and we're all reminded that the metaphor of God has to break down so that we can worship this mysterious, loving God, our Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.